Sarcopenia is defined as the loss of muscle strength, mass, and physical performance with normal aging. The global prevalence of sarcopenia has been reported to be about 10% in those aged 60 years and older. To diagnose sarcopenia, grip strength is measured to evaluate muscle strength, DEXA scan is used to measure muscle mass, and short physical performance battery or SPPB, which includes balance, gait speed, and chair stand tests, is performed to assess physical performance. So let's briefly discuss some of the major mechanisms of sarcopenia. First, the size or cross-sectional area of muscle fibers decreases with aging. And interestingly, the percentage and size of type 2 fast-twitched muscle fibers are mainly decreased. These type 2 fibers are mainly responsible for generating high force and power. The decrease in the size of muscle fibers has been shown to be mediated by a reduction in protein synthesis or an increase in protein degradation. This is why many drugs being developed for sarcopenia are designed to enhance muscle protein synthesis. Impaired mitochondrial function in aged muscle fibers has also been suggested to contribute to sarcopenia through production of high levels of ROS and DNA damage. A question that needs further investigation is, how then are type 2 fibers, which contain fewer mitochondria than type 1 fibers, mainly affected with aging? Wouldn't mitochondrial damage more significantly affect type 1 fibers? Another key feature of aged muscle is a decrease in the number and regenerative capacity of muscle stem cells called satellite cells. Satellite cells reside in the periphery of muscle fibers and can proliferate and fuse with the existing muscle fibers or form new muscle fibers. However, whether satellite cells largely contribute to changes in muscle size and sarcopenia is still being debated and require further investigation. A decrease in the number of motor neurons that innervate muscle fibers has been suggested to drive sarcopenia. But the mechanism of how motor neurons and motor units are lost is still under examination. Finally, systemic factors such as inflammatory cytokines or decreases in anabolic hormones such as testosterone may contribute to sarcopenia. Current strategies to prevent or treat sarcopenia mainly focus on exercise and nutrition. Resistance exercise protocols are recommended to target type 2 muscle fibers, but those that induce extreme muscle damage may compromise adaptation due to a low number of satellite cells for regeneration and increased inflammation. Also, sufficient protein intake and specifically amino acid leucine are critical to preserve or increase muscle mass in the elderly. Drugs currently under clinical trials for treatment of sarcopenia include testosterone, selective androgen receptor modulators, and several myostatin inhibitors.